Hi and welcome back to the channel. We are at it again. And when I say we, I mean me and Keisha. Hi. We're down here at Salisbury Wood, which is literally just across the road from Stanley Park and across from Blackpool Zoo. Um, we're going to go and try and find a World War II bunker, also known as a pillbox. Now, there are around about four or five different types of these scattered around the Fowl Coast. We're going to go and have a look at this one. We're going to go and trace through the woods as well and see what we can see. However, the history of Blackpool Zoo is that it used to be part of the um, like the war effort. So back in 1939, I think it was, just at the beginning of the war, it was requisitioned by the RAF for parachute training and also the building and repairing of Wellington bombers. Various aircraft have crashed around the Fowl Coast during the wartime, both on active service and in training. We've got to do something. Got to catch something. Yeah. So we're going to go chase through here and find the bunker, do a little bit of investigating around there and see what we can see. Yeah. We're inviting you to come along and join us. Here we go. <laughs> so you're going to take some photos as we go around. I am, yeah. I have never walked through here at night. So... I've never been down here at all, so... Well, <laughs> it's quite nice during the day. It's really lovely during the day. If you ever get the chance to come down here, while you're in Blackpool, do. Because it is lovely. I mean, it might not look it right now. It looks very scary and ominous. But we'll see what we can see. Let us know in the comments if you see or hear anything. We'll also show you some of the photos as well that we catch if we do see anything. Hopefully we'll be lucky enough. That'd be great, wouldn't it? We're also going to do the uh, SLS app again. Um, that worked quite well on our last little adventure, didn't it? We were it did. at Carlton it did Krem. Not disappoint, I'll tell you that. No, it didn't. Let me just switch this light down. Well, you can't see anything, but it is pretty damn dark in here. Damn. Right. Guys. <laughs> what? It was, just, it was just weird. I've never seen that on a camera before. Ooh, that little dot. It's weird. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Never. You pick that up. Never know. Here's one of the little bridges. Um, it literally, when I say stream, I mean the tiniest little stream ever. That runs all the way through. It does. Should we see if we can get a good one down there? Yeah, have a look and see what we can get. Oh, yeah. That's weird. I'm going to have to zoom in on them later and see. Yeah, see what they are. Yeah. That's literally like right there. We are getting closer to the pillbox. Ooh, that looks good. So that could, that could explain something. Yeah. Ooh, and now the wind's getting up. No thanks. <laughs> you got to go down a little bit, I think. So this is as well, just so you know, a public um, like woodland. So we're not like trespassing any private property, even though we're next door to the park, oh, uh, no, the yeah. park, the zoo, the hospital, which has got a golf course next to it. So anybody can come here, and it's open 24 hours a day, which we expect from wood. There's no gates either. You can literally just walk in, walk in just like we did. I cannot begin to tell you how dark it is down here, especially <laughs> with this torch. I mean, this is only throwing just slightly in front of us, which is kind of weird because there are a few little br uh, bridges around here because there's also a little stream, so we've got to make sure we don't fall in that. You can play this. There's some massive trees in here. I mean, look at that. Look at the size of that. Goddamn bird. I know. <laughs> They must be reacting to the light thinking, what's that? Oh my god, let's get out of here. There's got to be something knocking around here. 
I mean, there's got to be spirits. Got you in I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking primarily of the fact that going back to the history of the of the like the war around here. Yeah. There's, there's got to be. Did you hear something about then? No, I hear something behind us. What? Oh God, let's just do a check. <laughs> Starting, I'm literally hearing noises all around. It's kind of like Blair Witch stuff, isn't it? It's like 1998 all over again. Oh my god, don't be <laughs> Right, which way? Does that carry on straight? Oh god! <laughs> do you want to go? Does that go straight? Or do you want to go across this little bridge? I don't know, none of them look safe to be done. <laughs> god <Yeah>. damn it! <laughs> It's just somebody after all. <laughs> Frighten us to death then, pal. You're not a ghost, thank God. <laughs> oh, my heart there. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I literally did jump out of my skin then. I was like, oh, what the heck's that? It's a man. <laughs> He's got no torch. How is he wondering about no torch? He's brave. Um, That way or that way? I say this way. Okay, we have literally made... Oh, God! <laughs> Watch your footing if you come here. <laughs> We've made it. We're here. Oh, here it is. And just before you jump, there is a man up there. Oh, He's gosh, a statue. Yeah. <laughs> so this... This is a pillbox, a part type 22. And as you can see, it is on the uh, Salisbury Woodland Heritage Trail. Gives you a lot more information about it on there. So, see, look, the airport was commandeered, or this airport, so the zoo was commandeered in 1939 by the RAF. And they're called pillboxes because of the hexagonal shape, which is the shape of the boxes that pharmacists used to give out the pills and the medication in. Oh. But just to give you a bit of a... If I just stand a little bit back, I don't know if you get to see all of it, because we're on a different lens tonight. Mm -hmm. That's the whole side of it. It goes all the way around. But it's huge, isn't it? Yeah, Seriously. Yeah. And even with the flash on, what if I move this out of the way? Does, does that help? I'm not be putting too much... That one was slightly better, but it was here. Oh, that's so like... There we go. But the other one came out there, then. That's a bit weird. Mm. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm. That's I? very strange. So, we came down here the other day, during the day, to see if you could go in. But unfortunately, it's been sealed up. But let's uh, poke the camera in. Oh god, let's have a look inside. Well, that's a big spider. Big spider. Could you imagine being inside it? No, I. To be honest, no, it'd be like my worst nightmare. I mean, by the looks of all the graffiti in there. there People a... have been in there. Yeah, I mean, there was a date on the wall there of 2000. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's what, 20 odd years ago? And I think, oh, sorry. No, it's fine. Let's see if we can just poke a bit further. Let's move the camera. I mean, that's literally the inside of what it looks like. Not much, not much room in there either. I mean, just look at the size of these holes. I mean, those are like the firing holes where you would stick a rifle through. Yeah, for sure. It's not very big, is it? I mean... Yeah. Right, so we've got a couple of tools. Oh, there we go. First thing is we've got this, we've got a cat ball. We don't know for certain there's anything here, but we're going to try. Uh, the way these work is just by touch. So like you see there, Keisha just switched it on by moving it. That'll switch off in a minute. 
and then we'll see if it actually uh, moves. So it has to physically touch it, like so it moves for it to light up. All right, so if there's anybody there, anybody wants to come and speak to us, just come and give that cat ball a bit of a nudge. Let us know that you're here. Oh crap, that's all that moves. Right, so alongside the cat ball, we're also using the... Uh, are you recording those as well? Uh, not yet. Oh yeah, no. you're doing some. So alongside the cat ball, we're also using this. This is an SLS app. So if anything is here, it should pop up. Yeah, it catches it up a bit like that. Is that you? Hello? Is that you there? Do you want to come and say hi? Want to come and say hello? Maybe move the cat ball? Or even pop up on here again? Hi! There's something there, isn't there? There's something catching something. Yeah. Because I've never ever seen it mapping isn't trees. That, well, that's a, or, but that's that's a figure, isn't it? Generally moving as well, isn't it? Like yeah. The arms. Hi, do you want to come say hello? We're not here to cause any harm or disrespect. We just want to come and find out all about you and about the pillbox. Maybe you were stationed here. Maybe you were one of the home guards of the auxiliary. Or maybe not even part of the the armed forces. Are you from the Vic? From the hospital? Okay. Ooh, it's gone. So like I was saying, just literally across the road is Blackpool Zoo, and that is where a lot of activity took place during the war. Like I was saying, it was requisitioned by the Royal Air Force um, back in 1939, and right through until the end of the war, and even a few years after that, it was still very much part of the war effort in keeping Blackpool and the Fylde Coast safe. Um, there is the rumour as well about Blackpool being um, Hitler's playground. He didn't actually want it bombed. He wanted to keep it for, uh, for when he'd finished the war. So he could come over here and play. I don't know how true that is. But this pillbox, there's four or five of them around the Fylde Coast. This is the first one that well, we've certainly ever been to. Yeah. Um, we could potentially, if you like, go and have a look at the others and see if we can... Maybe catch us some other stuff and yeah, have know. a look around there. So if you want to see us do that, let us know in the comments below.